I'm going to show you how to connect Sonybox Vocalizer Pro to your MIDI keyboard or MIDI pad in FL Studio. This took me a long time to figure out because I couldn't find anything online of how to do it. But I got it now. Here's how you do it. First of all, we need to have an input, some kind of instrument or MIDI source going into Vocalizer Pro. So let's do that. Let's add in some instrument, some random preset. Sure, good enough. Then we need to add some notes for MIDI. So if I were to play this, nothing. Now I'm going to send this to channel one or some channel in my channel rack, er, in my mixer. Now in my mixer, I have added in the channel, in the insert, vocalizer pro effect. Now if I were to play this pattern, you're going to hear no sound coming out, and that's because vocalizer is halting the sound. So there's nothing. If I would hit down a note on vocalizer, we can hear that it's doing something, but if I hit down a note on my keyboard, nothing. What's up with that? So what you now have to do is tell Sony Vox Vocalizer Pro where the keyboard input is. So let's figure that out. I'm going to go to Options, MIDI Settings. In this case, my keyboard input is 0, port 0. So now I gotta to go to Vocalizer Pro, go to my settings, you can open that up by hitting this button, and under settings we can see the input port. So I have to set this to zero or whatever number that I saw up in my MIDI settings. Now when I go back to the instrument, if I hit down notes on my keyboard, it's finally reacting to the MIDI keyboard input. So that's how you do it. That's how you get set up in FL Studio using a MIDI keyboard as an input source to Sunnybox Vocalizer Pro.